you see, alcohol and drugs for me were were initially started because of peer pressure and because I wanted to fit in and because I thought that was cool. But what I found was that I was using those things because they were the only thing that made me feel okay in the world. Those were the things that made me feel comfortable and okay. And that was a big sign that I didn't see at that time. If you need a substance of some type to feel okay, that should be a bell going off in your head. When it, you know, Twitter and all those things society puts on you, right? These are the things that are gonna make you happy, right? The material things that are gonna bring you inner peace. And I achieved all those things at 22 years old, and I was totally miserable. And I went, oh my gosh, they were lying to me. That's not real. And the journey I went on from there to finding that. And I was lost. I was totally lost. And that started the downfall for me that, that was fast and swift. When I had my first back surgery my rookie year, I want to tell you I got introduced to opiates, OK? Painkillers, those drugs are the most dangerous drugs that are, that are out there. And, and at that time, what I found was taking those drugs, I, I knew how much I could take to cure the physical pain I was in, and I found if I took a little bit more, it would help with the emotional pain I was in. And, and once I made that connection, it was, a, it was a fast, fast fall down, right? Because I spent the next four years of my NFL career battling the disease of addiction, the worst it ever was for me, and, and really fighting to try and stay okay enough to play the game that I had lived my whole life trying to achieve the dream of getting it, right? When I had my spinal fusion and my career was over and I was lost, I decided that I didn't want to participate anymore. And, and, and I, I, I was trying to use as many drugs as I could, as often as I could, uh, to get away. And what ended up happening was I was found overdosed in my place in Tampa, Florida, and uh, got taken to Tampa General Hospital. This is February 4th, I think, of 2006. And there I was uh, in this hospital, and I remember laying in the hospital bed. The next day was the Super Bowl. And I was laying in this hospital bed after an overdose watching the Super Bowl on television. And I thought to myself, oh, Four years prior, I had been getting drafted in the NFL, thinking that maybe one day I'd be on that field. And then there I was four years later, my career's over, and I just overdosed on drugs, and I'm in the hospital watching it on a TV screen. Jeez. So, some people came to me. Uh, 